Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. We will, we now, Dad Rock. That's right, it is Dad Rock Wednesday. And on this day, I like to do adult rock and roll songs that are normally from my generation, the ones that we used to torture our kids with in the car. So it's normally things like from the 80s and 90s. So I am happy that I have almost the first time artist on the channel. I say that because I've only used this artist in mashups, but they were blocked to me. And so for some reason, I decided to put them through the YouTube filter today and they were not blocked to me. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> so I am so happy to say that I have Def Leppard for the first time on the channel. So I was kind of a little bit late to the scene when I got uh, into Def Leppard. Uh, it took a white boy from Florida when I was already living in England, which is where Def Leppard is from. It took a white boy from Florida to actually get me into Def Leppard. And once he did, I was hooked for the rest of my life. He got me hooked on High and Dry. And then when Pyromania came out, I was already indoctrinated. And then when uh, Hysteria uh, came out, I thought that Hysteria was probably their masterpiece. The production quality on that, the, uh, the arena songs that were on that, the kind of love songs that were on that, I just thought it was their their masterpiece. And so I am playing a song off of that album and it's actually the title song, which is Hysteria. Now that song came out in the United States in 88, but it came out in the UK in 87. And you know, Hysteria on the same album also has Woman, Rocket, Animal, Love Bites, Pour Some Sugar On Me, and Armageddon It. And then on side two is actually Hysteria and some of the other songs that I don't know. But you have right there seven songs that were hits. And that's why I consider this their masterpiece. Now, let's take a look at uh, what this song did on the charts and Balamo. It went to number 90 in Australia, number 13 in Canada, number 19 in Ireland, number 26 in the UK, number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, and number 9 on the US Mainstream Rock. Now you're like, well, Stephen, why didn't you pick some of those other songs that were more popular? Well, because even though it might be dad rock, I wanted to do something a little on the softer side, uh, considering that the song that I did before this was Every Rose Has Its Thorn. So I'm still wanting to keep it on the softer side, but I still want to keep it a little bit more mainstream than my 70s slow rock or yacht rock. So that's why I chose this. And now that I know that I can do Def Leppard videos, trust me, there's going to be a lot more in the future. My nigga. <laughs> so, if you like videos like this and others on my channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm trying to do at least 10 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, here is Death Leopard and Hysteria. You're part of my life. You are everything. I could not go on without you, Lisa. You're scaring me. You are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Why are you so hysterical?
Right, that is Def Leppard and Hysteria. It's just such a clean song, and I start to think of this song as being more of a late summer type of song because it has that kind of, you know, the sun's not quite, you know, up as much as it used to be throughout the summer. It's got a slight, not necessarily melancholy feel, but it's got that kind of disdain in there where it's not always up notes, but it's it's bright enough to be a summer song. And, uh, you know, I was addicted to Death Leopard once I started hearing about them, uh, once I started listening to them. And, you know, they're just, they're, if I had a chance to see Death Leopard to this day, I would. They would be on my bucket list. It would be like Duran Duran, Depeche. Oh, oh they're all D's. Maybe. What's D? D's not saying. <laughs> Duran Duran, Depeche Mode, and Def Leppard. I would definitely love to see them. So, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment.